Slovakia, you can see my breath. I am wearing two coats. The conditions are perfect for the Christmas market where I am right now. This is my first time in Slovakia and I've already been very charmed by Bratislava, I have to say. Now it's nighttime, all of the twinkle lights are on, and the thing to do here is to eat. So that's what I'm gonna do. People just served me this Slovakian dessert. I'm gonna butcher this, but it's Tredelnik. <laughs> Something like that. Tredelnik. Tredelnik. Okay. Is that sort of right? <laughs> it's still steaming. Like they really just took it off the fire, and it's warming my hands to hold it. And it's sweet dough in a roll, and he said that it has a mix of things on the outside, so sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and walnut flavors. It smells incredibly good, and it's still warm, and I'm, I just want to eat it right now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I got sugar all over my lips. It's like a sugar scrub. Oh, maybe you're supposed to eat it like this. Oh, that looks less messy. <laughs> it's spring-loaded dessert! <laughs> this is called a lokshe, I think. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. And they look like crepes. It's like a rolled crepe and they're both sweet and savory. There were a whole bunch of sweet ones, but I actually decided to go for a cheese one. I asked her which kind was traditional because usually I would try that, but when she said it was chicken liver, I decided to go for something else. So they had all these different kinds of cheese. Maybe Sheep cheese, or Sheep. smoked cheese, oh. or blue cheese. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, it's good. It tastes really similar to a crepe, but a bit more like potatoey. It's almost like the same taste as a potato cheese pierogi, except in a roll, and I love pierogies. I have no idea how to say the name of this, but uh, I asked him to put something together that would taste good and was kind of traditional. So this is a bun filled with smoked sheep's cheese, which they then grilled on their hot grill there, um, along with grilled onions and cranberry sauce. He said the most traditional is to get um, like pork or chicken on a bun with onions and mustard, but I wanted to go for something a little bit different. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but I like all of these ingredients, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, I only got cranberry. <laughs> Laksha earlier that looked like a crepe. That was smoked cheese too, but it didn't really taste smoky. This tastes smoked for sure. And I love cheese. The saltiness of cheese with the sweetness of the cranberry and the crunch of the bread. I can barely taste the onion yet, but it's this is good. I decided to go for another sweet dessert. This is called Radislav Skaroski. Working on my Slovak. <laughs> And it's not just a Christmas time kind of thing. They eat it all year round, but he said it's delicious and very, very traditional. So they have them with poppy seeds and with nuts, and he recommended that I try the one with nuts. So I am going to... Oh, it's actually really dense. I thought it was going to be soft, but it feels really dense. Look at the shape. Seed for Christmas. Oh! That does not taste at all like I thought it was going to. It has a shortbread consistency. I was expecting it to kind of look like a pretzel. So I kind of thought it was going to taste like a pretzel. Not at all. It's really flaky and it has a shortbread taste. It absolutely tastes nothing like I expected it to, which is good. That's why we try food, right? Okay, occupational hazard, I have crumbs all up in my scarf. <laughs> Sorry. I keep seeing people carrying these glasses around, which is the thing you have to have in your hand at any Christmas market anywhere in the world. So I need to go find something. There's punch, there's wine, there's red currant stuff. So I need to find something hot and good. Also, the people in Slovakia are so nice. <laughs> 
I've been talking with so many people at this market, asking so many questions. Are they sweet or savory? And everyone is so friendly and nice. It feels so Christmassy. Everybody seems to be drinking punch. So I got one that's called a snow punch. It's white wine with rum. It's all steaming and very cozy looking. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Christmas market here in Bratislava, Slovakia. Share the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.